Hello guys, what's up? This is Dinkar Chaudhary back with another video and in this video I'm going to tell you how you can convert your Android device into a webcam for your school purposes, for your college purposes or your job purposes. So even even for monitoring purposes, let's uh, see what happens. So first of all, you need to go to Chrome browser or your Edge browser or whichever browser you want on your laptop, then you have to search for DroidCam. Now you have to click on the first link which appears. It will be from Dev47 apps. These are the developers of DroidCam. So this app is also a very good alternative to IP webcam which we have been using from a long time. Now you have to click on the first link coming from Dev47 apps and you have to go down and you have to download the client which supports you for Windows or for Linux, whatever you want. I'll be downloading it for Windows right now because I'm working on Windows right now. I don't have Linux installed. Now click on the first uh, link or first option. Then you have to click on Droid Cam Client, whichever version is available for your Windows. Now click on that link and the download will start. I have already downloaded it and I have already installed it as well. So the installation process is very simple. You just have to click on OK, OK and install and it will be done. Now you have to open the droid cam client and it is a very simple procedure. Now you'll have this appear this page which will appear on your screens. After that you have to move on to your Android device and you have to go to play store and then you have to search for droid cam. Make sure you download the app from the same developer because there are a lot of clones available for this app. So make sure you download that you know the correct client uh, from the play store. So click on droid cam. You can see it's from the same developer which was dev 47 apps. Then you have to click on the install button. Now it's a very small app. Uh, it's, it's a very light app so you just have to install it installation will finish in a little time so this device it has a terrible camera i'm using the better camera to to actually record this video so just just uh, you know um, go on with me after that when you have downloaded the app and you have opened it you'll have uh, this page which will um, give you your wi-fi ip android cam port so you have to enter it um, onto the screen so when you have the uh, droid cam open on your laptop you'll have three um, things that you can do to connect your android device to your laptop first one is the same wi-fi network you can use the same wi-fi network to connect your devices uh, to each other then you have the usb option we can use a usb cable to connect both of your devices if you want a more stable connection the third one is through a hotspot we'll be trying out the first option right now which seems feasible to all of us, which is the op Wi-Fi option. The other options are really easy. You just have to go on uh, to that and you have to click on start. Now, in the first bar, you have to enter the device IP. In the second bar, you have to enter the port. Both these options, both these answers will be available on your Android screen. So Wi-Fi IP is 192.168.0.100, port is 4747. Right now, it's 106 at the end, so we'll just edit it out. Uh, I have entered 100 at the end. I'll just focus it for you so you can see right device IP and right port has been entered. After that, you have to click on the start button. Now, as soon as you click on the start button, your droid cam will start. The phone will show you your camera screen and the same screen will be showed you on your laptop as well. So as you can see, while I'm moving my phone camera, it is also changing the view in the droid cam client on the laptop. You can use this um, in your school as well, in OBS as well. You can select the droid cam 3 video source. You can use it in Chrome as well by selecting the droid cam source as the video source. Uh, so guys, thank you so much for watching the video. I hope you liked the video. Click the like and subscribe button if you found this video helpful and share for more videos like this.